Sound design is a great way to grab onto the attention of the listener, but sometimes in the creative process, we don't always know what type of sound we're going for in the end, right? Melodyne is really powerful in this scenario because it allows us to take, you know, a relatively simple sound and transform it into something completely unique in a short amount of time using the shuffle spectrum feature. So let's take a look. So here we have just a simple synth patch and some chords. So let's take a listen. What we're gonna do is uh, use the sound editor to shuffle the harmonics and make it sound a little bit more interesting. So in order to open that up, we just head up to the top left and click these bars here to open up the sound editor. Each of these bars here represents a different harmonic inside of the source that we're using here. And what we can do is shuffle the relative balance of, of all of them all at the same time using this shuffle spectrum feature, which you can find at the cog on the top left of the sound editor here. So let's go ahead and shuffle the spectrum and check out what it does. So you can hear that it changes quite a bit about the, the tone from the original, and that's exactly what we're after here. But there's a few controls that are pretty useful to tailor this process to what you need it for in, in your own creative process. So I like to really um, mess around with this contour slider, which basically adjusts the height differences between the different bars or harmonics inside of our signal here. So if I wanted the spectrum shuffling to be a little bit more subtle, I'm gonna reduce the contour percentage by, let's say, let's start with about 50%. This is a little more subtle. We can also go the other direction too, where we uh, increase the contour percentage. And it's more dramatic now. So depending on what you're after, you can use the contour slider to help you, you know, really dial it into uh, the, t the type of sound that you're after. Another approach I really like to take with this shuffle spectrum feature is to take the original and then duplicate it a couple of times and then shuffle the spectrum of the duplicates so that they're a little bit different from one another and then pan them left and right to really enhance the stereo image. So let's do that right now. And by the way, if you do work in Cubase or Studio One, there is one extra step that you need to follow for this particular process, which we will leave down in the description below. So I've taken our original chords that were in Melodyne and I just duplicated the track into one and two. And all I'm gonna do is mute the original one because we don't need it for this particular part. So now we have two copies of the original and I'm just gonna solo the first one and we're gonna shuffle the spectrum until we find something cool here. I kind of like that one. It's nice and unique. So then I'm going to move down to uh, our second duplicate and solo it. And uh, I'm going to click this orange blob here at the top left as well so that we can make sure that Melodyne is showing and playing the same track that we're listening to. So let's find something that's a little bit different here. That one's pretty cool. And of course we can also individually edit any, any of the uh, any of the harmonics that we want to. So if we wanted to increase you know, the first harmonic and make the chords a little bit more present, we can increase number one here. So we've got two different sounds here. And uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is increase more of the differences between the duplicates. And a really quick way to do that is just to highlight all the notes. So I'm currently in the second duplicate here and I'm just gonna head up to the edit menu and go to add random deviations. We're gonna add some, you know, a few pitch, some moderate pitch uh, deviations here. And then let's also do the same thing with some timing differences here. And then if we head over to uh, 
to number one here, the duplicate number one by clicking the orange blob next to one, we can highlight all the notes and do the exact same thing and add some more random deviations. We can also do the same thing with our timing. So now let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna highlight both of these tracks and I'm gonna press Command G to get them in a group just so it's easier to play them both at the same time or solo them rather. And I'm gonna pan one left and one right here. And now let's take a listen to what it sounds like. Now, if you listen to the original, it's quite a bit different. Now, again, we don't have to uh, we don't have to make it so extreme either. We can totally bring down the contour a little bit and uh, just soften up some of those differences in you know the characteristics of the harmonic balance a little bit, which I personally like the sound of. Another kind of thing that you can consider in this scenario is you can increase the balance of the even harmonics on one side and then increase the balance of the odd harmonics on the other. So if we took, uh, if we went to the first duplicate here and we just went over to, you know, we'll make that one the odd one. We'll just bring it down a little bit, about minus 30%. We come over here and we add, uh, we add some even harmonics uh, to about positive 30% here. Let's see what this sounds like. So just using this shuffle spectrum feature is really quick to uh, to change up what you've got, and I also really like that it's really easy to you know change the the brilliance and um, and some of the odd and even harmonics, and you can even mess around with some of the comb filtering if you want to make it even more unique, right? So if we solo if we solo this right one here. You can, you can get some really crazy sounds, right? Now, this is a cool process for a synth sound like this, but we can also do the same thing with lots of other types of instruments as well. One of my favorites actually is to do this with a bass line. So let's say that we're working with this kind of funky bass line here. Maybe you just want it to sound a little bit more interesting or unique, or you just want to change up the tone a little bit, which is another totally valid approach here. We're going to do something similar where um, we're actually just going to shuffle the spectrum and see what we get here. So this almost has like a wah quality to it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now again, if we want to soften it up a little bit, we can just reduce the contour a little bit and uh, we can make the, the differences between those bars a little bit more subtle. This is the original. And also don't forget that you can adjust these harmonics as well to your, your taste. So if I wanted some more mid-range, maybe we could select some of these here and just bump them up a little bit. So it's kind of like you're, you're going through and you're almost like switching the bass and the pickups and you know the way that the, the player is hitting it and completely changing all the characteristics about the bass uh, to, to find something that maybe fits a little bit better or fits a little bit differently based on whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish with your song. One other thing too is don't forget about this emphasis slider either. Like you can, you can sort of reduce the uh, dynamic range of each of the harmonics by reducing the emphasis here. So it almost turns it into more of a synth. We shuffle it again. So 
So this is a really fun way for Melodyne to help you be creative in the, in the sound design process by completely transforming the original sound into something that's potentially more interesting for the listener. So just by manipulating the harmonic balance of any source signal, it's easy to get either really subtle or really wild sonic transformations as you heard in some of our examples. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.